Hey guys, um, I know I did a video yesterday, but I remember saying that I was going to, next time I did a video, I was going to have my sweet little girl, and my baby, um, and it seems appropriate today because apparently, uh, I don't understand the full story, and honestly, I really don't want to know, yes, but, um, I know I've told you guys that I am a mother of a special needs child, right here, this beautiful, sweet, amazing princess, I am a mother of a disabled child, so this kind of hits me, uh, probably a little bit more than it would some people, I mean, some people are feeling bad about it, because obviously a child has died, but more along the lines of you being an actual mom of dealing with a special needs child, and for the way that this child has passed on it's sad because apparently uh, we've been hearing a lot about car deaths where they're leaving their children in the car this mother apparently left her 13 year old in a car special needs child I guess expecting to be back sooner than she really was I don't exactly know I don't understand the full story my thing of it is regardless of the time or the amount of time that she was gonna be left in the car it's not okay um maybe she had her reasonings that's cool but you know your daughter's disabled and they can't get out the car you know your daughter has a special sorry guys my son is climbing into his pen um you know I don't know maybe I'm taking it a little harder than I probably should maybe but the thing of it is is if I go somewhere that I know that Bree won't be able to go out with me well you climbed in dude he climbed into the thing I don't know if you can see him sorry my house is kind of a mess so excuse that you climbed in. Climb out. Climb out. Climb out. Hold on, y'all. Alright, sorry. Um, he climbed into the pen and then got stuck. So, anyway, as I was saying, sorry guys, it's a little dark. Uh, apparently, it's going to rain because I was using natural lighting. And it went away. <laughs> so, um, hey, pretty girl. I don't know. Maybe I, I feel, I might feel different than most parents do, I guess. Being because I do have a uh, special needs child. But, already, they're going on about Facebook about how she left her in the car for a couple minutes because she wanted to go get keys made for the house regardless it doesn't matter she was a child that did not need to be in a car for any amount of time for anything I understand it's hard trying to go to places with a special needs child believe me I know it is difficult and some days it is so tiring to the point that you end up crying because it's been a hard and horrible day. I know. Like, today I was going to take the kids out to lunch and my son has learned the F word. And so I told him to stop saying it. And I didn't pop him or anything. I just told him he needs to stop saying it. And due to my voice getting just a little high... This one over here started screaming because she has a thing about people talking in a louder voice. And so instead of going out and having a nice day with both of my kids, I brought them on home. And basically all the way home, they screamed, both of them. And I... As I got home, I seriously just wanted to cry because it was basically two against one and I was, I don't know, defeated. 
And then I come home, and I go on Facebook, and I see all this happening. I don't understand her reasoning. Maybe it was good. I don't know. I really don't. And I'm not going to cast judgment or anything, but all I can say is, how can you not take a child, even a, a normal child? Like, if I weren't, if I hadn't, you know, if I had gone somewhere and I didn't take Emerson with, with me. You know, Emerson, now he can get out of the his car seat if he wants to. And I know that if it's not child lock, he can't open the door. But if it's locked and on child lock, Emerson's not going anywhere. He's stuck inside that car, whether he gets out of that car seat or not. So, I just don't understand. And then, like, they're telling us that we have to have signs saying stop, look in the back seat because our children are there. Or put something important like um, our purse. You have the most important thing you could ever have in that back seat. Right there. These tiny little humans, you have the most important thing ever in the world in that back seat already. You don't need to put your purse or your phone or something that you need to have to go and remember that you had kids in the back seat. I don't understand that. And where they're trying to make it le uh, a law where we have to have a sign saying stop, look in the back seat, I think that's something wrong. I don't, I don't even think there's ever been a time where I'm like, oh, I don't have my kids, I'm fine, I can go inside the house, or I can go inside the store, because my kids were asleep in the backseat. No. And I'm not trying to cast judgment, because I'm pretty sure it probably can happen to anybody, but the thing of it is, is how. You made these tiny humans, you know you're supposed to take them with you, you know they're with you almost all the time. I mean, even when I go out by myself, which is very rare nowadays because I don't have as many friends, or I have friends that come and go in my life when they need it and whatever, even then, when I do get to go out and be by myself, I even look in the back seat. Like, I don't even mean to. I just do it. I think it's a habit thing that every mom should have to look in that back seat and be like, oh, wait, I don't have my kids with me today. I'm okay. Like, seriously, and you you see the empty car seats, you know your kids aren't with you. I think this one's probably just hitting me a little harder than it probably should, just for the simple fact of I am a mom of a special needs child. And I can't imagine leaving her anywhere I even hate going to get my nails done without her because I don't want to leave her. She is one of the most precious things ever. And then I've already almost lost her to so many ailments of diseases that I would never dare think about forgetting her somewhere in a car. I just, I don't know. It's hard for me to understand. It's hard for me to, to grasp. And, I mean, some people are saying she has a legitimate reason for leaving her in the car. Some are saying that she just neglig negligently left her. I don't know. I don't know the story. I don't care the story. I just know you had a special needs child that needed your care. And now she's no longer here. And someone even wrote, like, well, she's in a better place now with no debilitating diseases. Like, basically, you were saying her life here was nothing but misery because she was special needs. And that's not okay. I mean, I don't know what I would do without her. I really don't. And I, I know the feeling of almost lost with her, and I, I can't. I, if I had lost her, if they weren't able to bring her back four years ago, I wouldn't be here today. I couldn't do it. I don't even know how you can just not have your child.
and that all being said, um, I got the news yesterday that, um, the school district wants to have a meeting with me this Friday for her. I don't know. I don't know if I really want her to go to school. I'm so scared that the people are going to sit there and pick on her and bully her. I'm so scared that some moron is going to walk inside that school and shoot up my children. I don't know. I'm... I think as being a mother that those fears, like, have intensified. Because when I went to school, I didn't really care. Like, I just didn't. And I think actually being the mom of the kids that go to that school... It has me so concerned because there are so many people being so stupid in the world. I mean, there are children bullying kids up until the point that they put a gun in their mouth and shoot themselves. Because they cannot take the bullying anymore. And, yeah. Since she is different, I'm so scared that somebody will bully her and will be mean. And I can't risk her thinking she's any less than an amazing human being you know what are you doing you're not sitting right <laughs> I just I can't risk somebody taking her from me because they want to point out her differences and tell her that her differences are not right when in reality she is super unique and amazing. Yeah, I'm unique. Yeah. So, I guess I'll see how the meeting goes on Friday to see if I am brave enough to put her in school. Yeah. Sweet girl. I don't know Thursday if um, we need to have surgery on her back for the scoliosis sorry guys I'm I won't blink for a minute um we do have hopefully it won't be as bad as I'm thinking I'm hopefully my mind's going to the worst part and then I'm gonna get like really great news that it's just an easy fix simple and it doesn't have to be something like surgery or something like that because I don't know if I can handle another surgery and I really don't know if I can sign papers to put her into another surgery um and I don't have her real dad to help me in this situation to figure out if I'm doing the right thing or not I'm gonna have to unfortunately call him um somehow because I don't have his number and he keeps changing it oh yeah if she does need a surgery because of uh, of legal reasons that's the only thing I have to do is if something big like surgeries or um, severe severe illness and stuff like that um, yeah I have to contact him for stupid stuff like that well it's not stupid but it's stupid that I have to contact him for that but he can't contact and ask how she's doing on a daily basis I mean, how a, a father can walk away from a child is beyond me, because as a mom, you can't walk away. Because if you walk away, they have nothing. They have nobody and nothing. But dads can walk away like it never meant anything. What are you looking at, baby? Excuse her hair. It's a mess. But I think she's adorable, because she's my baby. Mm -hmm. Alright, boo boo. You gotta tell them. He said bye bye. He said bye bye. So you gotta say like or subscribe. And you can comment down below. Oh, yeah. She got little bandages on her little fingers because she's been rubbing her fingers raw on her bed. And so I started putting finger uh, band aids on them to try to protect her little tiny fingers. She has baby fingers. Yeah. But. You say comment down below and ask any questions and we will answer them to the best of our ability. Mm-hmm.
You want to say bye? Say bye, love you. Say bye, love you. After you wave and give kisses. I'm my baby. Bye, all.